I will be recording a series of videos talking about my skincare and how it reflects on how your makeup looks as well as my hair care and as far as diet I don't do diets but I can talk about um, what I do as far as snacking and whatnot but this video is called my makeup story and this is a tag video so let's get started how old were you when you started wearing makeup? I want to say forever, but not really, because I would say my mm, age I really started wearing makeup would be high school. Junior high was more of lip gloss and nail polish, but nothing extreme because my mom was like not having it as I was growing up. And um, I loved playing in my grandma's makeup, so that's the reason why I am so inspired to do makeup. But I would say high school, um, I didn't get to wear a lot more until I was like 16, but 14, 15, I, I got to wear a lot of nail polish, um, lip gloss, um, I did a little bit of mascara and some eyeliner here and there. But yeah, I think I would say high school is around close to 14, 15, I did a little bit of makeup. How did you get into makeup? I got into makeup because... Uh, my grandma, she passed away in 2007, and I would say she was a heavy influence on makeup and why I'm so girly and why I like to just take care of myself. It was more, I started off with nails. Like, these are my actual nails here. People always think they're fake, but my nails grow long. I would always see my grandma, like, buying polishes at the drugstore all the time, and sometimes I ask her to let me have some on my nails, and it was... That's where I would say it sparked. That's my interest because my grandmother introduced me to all this stuff. And, you know, it's weird at first because people are like, oh, you know, you're too young to be playing with that. You're a girl. When you're a young little girl, you mirror off of your mother or whoever is the female influence in your life. And I would say it would be my grandmother. She kind of got me into the whole makeup thing. What are some of your favorite brands? Um, I've always rocked with drugstore, no matter what. I mean, I do now, I like high-end as I'm older, but, um, I still will rock with drugstore. Um, Revlon is, like, my new fave, but Maybelline has always been my number one makeup brand that I always went to for everything. Mascara, eyeshadows, lip gloss, um... A lot of stuff, Maybelline kind of just started me off. And then Revlon was the polishes and lipsticks and everything else. And I would say those are the two brands that I really, like, started off with. And as far as nail polish brands, it was NYC, Color, um, what else? Sinful Colors, you would find at Walgreens, all of the drugstores. So, yeah, I would say Maybelline and Revlon were always the ones. And I would say L'Oreal now because I like some of their skincare. What does makeup mean to you? Makeup to me means artistry um, and also experimenting with new things and trying to see where you fit in makeup. So a lot of the time when I was, I was going through phases with makeup and I didn't know where to start sometimes, um, but it's more of artistry. It's more of uh, a technique, learning where your boundaries are, how far you can go, um, you know, you, you always will mess up in something that you have a passion for and then you just build and build and improve and improve to where you feel like this is, this is what you want. So makeup to me is artistry and improving all the time. That's what makeup is. And of course it's fun. What do you think about drugstore makeup versus high end? Um... I don't have a problem with drugstore because I've been wearing it since I was in high school and a lot of the brands now have been improving a lot more with their um, formulas, packaging, all that stuff, their advertisement. So it's been changing and I see that drugstores are now competing with higher end. And if you notice with higher end too, they're, they're, they're competing with both even though high-end and drugstore are manufactured in the same factories. They just slap a name on it or a label or whatever, and that's the only difference. Um, but I would say I've always rocked the drugstore. Okay, what is one tip of advice you can give a beginner? Um, a tip of advice I can give anybody who's trying to get into makeup or try makeup, start in baby steps. Don't um, rush in too quick. Um, try things 
little by little neutral to colorful like that's how I think we all start when we're in makeup I started with neutral stuff I started it with pinks and browns and just stuff I knew I was comfortable with and then as you start to try new things new um, colors that's when you can branch out but I would say as a beginner just start slow because that's how we all start and don't be afraid of color um and you know that, that happens I didn't like lipstick for a while but now I do what is one makeup trend you never understood? Um, there's a new makeup trend right now. Well, it's, it could have been around for a while, but, um, it's this new thing with eyeliner. Okay, so say you have a liquid liner on like I do right now. And you know how you're used to just lining your eyeliner. You can do a wing liner, cat eye, whatever. There's this new thing where like right in the center, they dip in there like they wipe away the makeup and then they make it into a triangle shape in the center so you have a space of eyeliner and then you go out like I don't know I think that's just so weird but who knows maybe it's hot somewhere in a different country but I don't like it okay last question what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube um, I'm still new to the game. I'm not considered like a certified makeup artist or a certified beauty guru, but I learned from YouTube. And But what I can say in the community of YouTube and what I have noticed since I've started, I've only been on YouTube for like two years, and I've noticed a lot. Like I've noticed a lot of shade from other bigger um, beauty gurus or makeup artists, well-known makeup artists. I've seen the shade, but there are some good and bad things on YouTube, but it's like lately people have been really throwing shade towards each other. Or what really gets me, let's just say this, what gets me about some makeup artists on YouTube just like throw the high end in your face to where it's like you got to buy this high end stuff it's better than drugstore or they just throw in things that you think you should buy and to me those people are the ones that put us new beginners in debt or like you know make us feel like oh dang I gotta step my makeup game up but in reality I mean you you build it but just be careful with other beauty gurus sometimes on YouTube it's it's some drama even the fans can make drama for both gurus who actually do get along and it can just blow up in your face but I personally haven't had any issues with anybody else on YouTube I'm still new I'm pretty sure they don't even know who I am right now but there's some shade on YouTube and then there's some good things on YouTube so that wraps up my tag of my makeup story. I hope you guys like this video. Leave comments down below, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Toodles.